Now, do you have a, a pick for the winner? Do, do you, or, a, or someone you want to see win? I would say Tom Brady. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, the Bucks, not just Tom Brady, the whole team, right? I think it'd be cool if he could prove, you know, he's already proven so much by making it to the Super Bowl, but just winning a Super Bowl, another Super Bowl, Super Bowl outside of the Patriots franchise would be a big statement. So I think I'm rooting for Tom Brady. What about you? Um, you know, I'm a little torn. I mean, you know, being that third stage is based in Denver, Colorado, uh, for those that aren't familiar with how the National Football League works and how the teams are structured, uh, the Kansas City Chiefs are in the same division as our home team, the Denver Broncos. So, yeah, on one hand, I like Mahomes. He's really fun to watch, and they're obviously a great team. Uh, on the other hand, as a Denver Broncos fan, it's very frustrating to see <laughs> that team that's so good in your division that you know you're going to have to play for the next you know, two twice a year for the next however many years that Mahomes is in the league. That's a little stressful to think about as a, as a Broncos fan, but you know, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. Cause it, you know, and normally I wouldn't care about Tampa Bay because it's just, you know, it's not a team I've closely followed, but the Tom Brady thing's a pretty cool story. And he's got uh, Gronkowski. I don't know if you know who that is, but he's the tight end that used to be on the Patriots as, with Brady as well. And now he's on the bucks as well. And so then did it, they leave together? They both left the Patriots and went to the bucks. Uh, yeah, so I think Gronkowski retired actually when or before Tom Brady left the Patriots, and so when and I could have this wrong. This obviously is not an NFL podcast, so don't don't <laughs> don't quote us on this or don't hold it against us. But um, he retired, I believe, uh, for a year, and he didn't play. He was a sportscaster for I think a year, and then when Tom Brady went to the Bucks, he came out of retirement to go sign with the Bucks to play with Tom Brady, which is that's kind of cool too because Gronkowski's older and his body's pretty well beat up, but he's made kind of a comeback, you know, taking care of his body and getting, getting back in shape and whatnot. So good for him. Yeah. It's a dream team. Yeah. We'll see what happens. It is. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see. Um, it should be exciting either way. So we were talking too about, um, kind of tying this back to business technology and digital transformation, you know, talking a bit about winners and losers. And, you know, one of the things that we published, um, late last year was our 2021 digital transformation report. And in that report, we lay out, you know, the top 10 rankings, our independent top 10 rankings of a number of different ERP systems using a number of different criteria, uh, qualitative and quantitative. And we looked at it in the context of different uh, segments. So, you know, what's best for one type of company might not be the best for, for other types of companies. So I thought I'd just walk through some of these highlights real quick. You know, since we're talking about playoffs and Super Bowls and winners and that sort of thing, and these are sort of the brackets, if you will, or the the uh, the divisions of the different uh, ERP worlds here. And so I'll just run through this real quickly just because it's interesting and it might uh, pique people's interest. And I, I highly encourage you to download this report, which we included a link to below. Uh, but when we look at the overall top 10 list, so if we look at ERP, ERP or enterprise systems that our business technologies for companies of all sizes, all different industries, sort of a generic uh, cross-industry type of rating. Um, Oracle NetSuite actually came in number one on our list, um, which is a you know a software as a service type of solution. So if you if you view the overall bracket there, that's that's uh, NetSuite came in at number one, and you know you also had SAP and Microsoft and um, Oracle, Infor, Salesforce, Workday, a bunch of other systems are in that ranking. You can kind of see how they compare when you when you read that. Um, but then we looked at, we also looked at rankings for small businesses too. So we wanted to know who, you know, who's the winner, if you will, when we look at small businesses in particular and the ones that rated highest with small businesses in particular were Oracle NetSuite again, uh, Microsoft Dynamics, Business Central, which is a, a technology that d designed for small and mid-sized companies in particular. And then Odoo, which is a open source system that is uh, gaining a lot of traction in the marketplace. Um, so that's the the small and mid mid market. And then uh, finally, we looked at uh, not finally, but just finally of what I'll cover here today. We looked at best ERP software for manufacturing and distribution businesses. And the three that kind of finished on top in our ranking were IFS, QAD, and IQMS. So those are the sort of the, the different vendors that, that rated differently, you know, as we, as we looked at different segments 
in the market. So I thought it'd be kind of fun just to throw that out there for people as they think about not only who's going to win the Super Bowl, but when you're looking at digital technologies for businesses, these are some of the leaders uh, that we've outlined there in our transformation report. So what are your thoughts? I know we're not we're not going to go into a ton of detail on each of these systems, and we've done that on other places on our YouTube channels and whatnot. But uh, anything that surprises you there or anything that goes against any trends you've seen in the market? It's interesting to see Oracle on there. It's like Oracle's the Tom Brady of <laughs> <laughs> ERP systems. They're, they're going to quote um, you on that now. You know that you're going to show up now with an Oracle ad somewhere. It's saying Oracle oh, is the Tom funny. Brady says Parisa Noble, so therefore you must buy Oracle software. <laughs> yeah, that's a good good uh, tagline for them. But um, yeah, no, it's interesting to see the big players, right? You have the same ones, but even so, you know, even if they are the leading software, it's interesting to see how each business would benefit from maybe number five on the list rather than number one on the list. You know, so it's so specific to each company, but it's also interesting to see the overlap between the different size companies, the different industries, et cetera. Yeah. Well, it's a good point that, you know, the number five option on, on the list might be number one for someone who has very specific criteria. That's a great point. And that's exactly the point we try to make when we're doing these rankings. It's fun to have the rankings, but on the other hand, you have to take it with a grain of salt because, you know, it's general rankings versus you're an organization that has very specific needs. We need to focus on those needs versus, you know, what the generic rankings are. I have this uh, so funny story that kind of ties this all up, but the, there's a guy, I won't mention his name, and I don't know if he's listening to the show or not, but there's, there's a guy that has been emailing me on and off for probably two or three months now. And he's a, he's a CIO at a company that has recently implemented NetSuite, who we talked about, you know, the Tom Brady, uh, Oracle's NetSuite, <laughs> the, the Tom Brady of the... Uh, the ERP industry. And he, he sent me a number of emails that are, it's sort of, for lack of a better word, bashing NetSuite saying, I can't believe that you guys rank NetSuite number one. We just implemented it. Here's our experience with it. I really think you should rethink that ranking. And, and it's really interesting because at first I thought, is he, is he really a CIO? Does he work for a competitor of Oracle? And, but it was interesting because he, he sent me lots of details of all the things that he doesn't like about NetSuite. So it, it, back to your point, this in this case, NetSuite is not number one apparently for this organization, or they just didn't implement it correctly. I'm not sure. Right, sounds so. like maybe not the right fit. <laughs> Could very well be. be. I'm curious to see our our first interview. You know, Sight and Sound. I wonder what um, what system they landed on and why, and see if that's one of the ones on the list. Yeah, well, they're a client of Third Stage, and I know the guy really well that we're going to interview, and I. I know the answer to that, but I'm not going to ruin it for the listeners. I'll let him, <laughs> I'll let him answer that question when we, when we get to him. And-